without draining them. Flex tape is perfect for marine, campers, and RVs. Flex tape is super strong, and once it's all... Who's there? I got a package for uh, Todd Birkin. All right, you can just leave it at the door. You got it, sir. Target acquired. Welcome back to the channel, Kashar Guns and Armor. Hope you enjoyed that intro. We are currently at 154 subscribers. We just hit that. Thank y'all so much again. We really appreciate y'all's support. Couldn't do without you guys. So today's video, we're gonna get right into it. This is about the Hitman's gun, what he would use, maybe what caliber, but today it's the 338 Lapua Magnum. Let's get right into it. This is our big boy telephone pole test piece. So we put it up on a tree to kind of tell. Right now it's pretty sturdy, so if this 338 can knock it down. I'm telling you, that, that is a hefty piece. So let's see what damage we can do to this big telephone pole. Let's get this thing loaded up. Okay, first off, I can go ahead and tell you that um, I think it knocked a piece off. Also knocked my ear protection a little bit off. Oh, shit. Woo! All right, guys, before we go look at the destruction, um, yeah, oh, wow, you're, uh, you're, your pistol was right in front of the muzzle brake. Hopefully that doesn't screw it up. Anyways, um, we had our stuff kind of over to the side, my air over here, and uh, yeah, it blew leaves absolutely everywhere. Even all the way over here where we have our ammunition box and backpack. So yeah, that kind of gives you a scope on how, um, how much uh, oomph is coming out of that muzzle brake. So uh, yeah. yeah. And I'm not putting my hands in my pocket because I'm a special person i'm just cold it's very cold all right let's go look at that damage phil all right so let's uh let's take a look <laughs> so don't know that's the front of the back i didn't really mark it but uh let's kind of roll it around oh my gosh so first thing everyone we should have shown you around i guess but it was a hollow point hollow point is not meant to penetrate very well so that was the entry wound pretty small i'm pretty sure that was the entry wound and then the exit wound holy free holy that's that blew the back out right there and even cracked the wood um Jeez. in half dang so yeah that's uh that tree if that's a tree that you were behind you'd, you'd be in trouble yeah that's so 338 will go through the telephone pole <laughs> this is Okay. Well, at least I hit it. <laughs> All right, ready? Wow. That was loud. That blew my... That blew... I literally got hit with a fucking concussion. <laughs> and we hit the steel. Oh! Oh, well, we forgot to show you guys, but... Oh, shit. <laughs> there, was a, there was a piece of steel that we had down there, so... um, Yeah, we're going to go take a look at that. Ooh. All right, guys, so we're going to be uh, taking a look at the steel we got here. So this is actually, this steel plate is from one of those uh, bulldozers. This is AR500, well, I guess it's AR500. It's definitely some type of heat treated abrasion resistant steel, which was actually how that stuff was made in the first place, which was for bulldozers and heavy equipment so it doesn't just wear out so fast. Anyway, um, can't really tell where we hit at, but um, yeah, it's a hollow point, so it's not gonna, penetrate much it's just going to hit there and just splash so it could have been either one of those we tested before with the 338 so um yeah but anyway very good for organic materials not so much steel that's why you saw on that telephone pole over there it it sent him back to jesus so yeah good uh good hard hitting piece here knocked this thing on its face so let's uh let's move on 
All right, everyone, so this is uh, our next target. Uh, two center box, uh, kind of at an angle. Um, so we're gonna shoot it with a 338 Lapua Magnum with a hollow point round and see what happens. All right, guys, so we actually forgot to <laughs> mention the model of this beautiful gun right here. Would you like to explain what this is? Not really. Okay, well, actually, let's... guys, <laughs> by the way, this is a Savage Model 110. So you can find all kinds of cool videos. While it is an entry level 338 Lapua Magnum, it's still really good. It's people a beautiful will gun. shoot up to, um, I think people shoot over a mile of this thing. Yeah, be really good at that. We're not doing that right now. We're like 30 yards away. Hopefully, we don't get any shrapnel. But it's pretty good a gun. It's pretty good a gun. But it's pretty good a gun. And you should check it out. Woo! All right. Ready? Yep. Fire. Oh, sh That looks like it just seared both heads right off. Oh, look at all that dust, babe. We're in construction now, boys. <laughs> all right, let's go take out, take a look at the damage. <laughs> okay. Um, that's a water bottle. Oh, that's a water bottle from our book bag video. Also, by the way, go check that out. <laughs> okay, everyone. So if you didn't see the close up, we had two center blocks. They're like those two piece center blocks. They were both angled kind of at like this, stacked up against. Didn't know if that was going to make any trajectory differences with the bullet. Seems like it uh, just annihilated both of them. So, um, yeah, not much left. Yeah. Um, very, hmm. very interesting. Maybe we can reuse this concrete for another. Oh, piece. yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Like this, this piece, my gosh, guys. Oh, that, shit, for this piece, for sure, man. That'll stop a 50 BMG right there if I tell you myself. By golly, pair that with Flex Seal. Oh, man, that's. No, i Anyway, that is, that's some damage. So, what we're trying to say, guys, that is the Hitman's gun. 338 Lapua Magnum. Because while 50 BMG would be great, it's going to be hard to lug that thing around. That's still manageable. We're down here in one of our shooting ranges, and we had to walk a ways to get here. But uh, I was still able to manage carrying that thing in my arm the whole way here. So, Hitman would use that. 338 Lapua Magnum. Perfect caliber also i want to mention that was two cinder blocks with a 338 lapua magnum hollow point that wasn't even fmj or armor piercing that was just a stand that was that was a hollow point that was a that, that's not it's not even designed to do that and, and it's still just destroyed yeah, everything that's crazy all right guys we uh we're gonna go show you a little bit more of the gun here in just a minute and finish this video out all right here we go Thank y'all for so much for watching, guys. We appreciate it. We have been growing so fast, thanks to y'all. 154 subscribers, I believe, correct? Yes, and about a week and a half ago, we had 39, and we were, we were Whoever the two subscribers was, when we went to 41 and then unsubscribed, y'all y'all are on you. special. Shame on you. Y'all missing out, so look, we, we don't care. You're, no, you're but, missing out. But for real, we do appreciate, um, <laughs> even though we got some hate comments, we still love you guys too because honestly that's it's kind of fun when we see those haters out there they hate us because they ain't us but when you subscribe you join the group you join the party that is true and we're all together in this so we're here to protect the second amendment we love america and what it stands for not what joe biden stands for we're talking about the true values of america that we hold dear actual america we're here to keep that together. And you know what really rings American? The Savage Model 110 that we have here that we shot today with, uh, how big is that round? This 338 Lapua Magnum round, this was the hollow point. Don't know how well y'all can see that there, but uh, it's got, it's very tiny little hole in the front there, but very good round, very good anti-personnel round, which wasn't really what we were shooting for today was the, uh, the steel, <laughs> Didn't expect the telephone pole to get totally annihilated and go all the way through, but it did. And those cinder blocks, those cinder blocks, my gosh, it just, whoo, clean slate. Yeah, that, I, yeah, I, out of all of them, actually, no, I think the telephone pole still, because that one went clean through, and it's tiny entry hole, and then just blew the back out. So, so. that's a, is a 300 grain, 300 grain, uh, 338 Lapua Magnum round hollow point, so 
Maybe in the future we might shoot an FMJ or something more special. We but... have a, a very odd round. But just so y'all know, if you don't see this rifle a whole lot on the channel, it's because it costs a lot of money. Eight to ten bucks. A round. Yeah, so, eight to ten bucks a round for this puppy. So um, that'll be mostly for testing videos. But yes. like I said, if you have any good ideas of testing, things you want us to shoot at, let us know because we're adding new ideas every day. So honestly, like, yeah, I mean, give us good ideas, not bad ones. Try not to give us bad ones. I mean, I mean, if it's a bad one, then. It's better than no it's better than no yeah All right, there we go <laughs> yeah but well, anyways um, we appreciate you guys so much so we uh we'll see you in the next one peace <laughs>